Let's talk about a trucker's mistress. No, I'm not talking about another piece of ass. No, I'm not talking about a second girlfriend. No, I am not talking about some other lover. I'm talking about a truck driver's true mistress, his truck. A trucker earns to be in his truck. A trucker wants to be in his truck. The highway calls his name. White line fever is a real thing. No matter which way you look at it, the call of the road is strong in a lot of truck drivers. That's why a lot of truck drivers don't make it. They don't make it a priority for them. And if you don't make your mistress a priority, she leaves you. So it works the same as a truck. You get addicted to being on the road. That's all you ever think about. You think about making money, making those wheels turn, and keep on moving as far as you can, as quickly as you can. Now other drivers, they do this as a sport or they do this as a fun activity. They don't really do this as their career or part of their life. I always told students when they hired on, you didn't get a job, you didn't get a career, you got a new lifestyle. Trucking is more than just a job, more than just a career. No matter which way you look at it, truckers have to live a life. And that is what you signed up for when you signed for your CDL. You have to live a certain way, you have to eat a certain way, well, most of us dress however the hell we want. But then again, some other drivers have uniforms they have to wear. Me, personally, I do not. I wear whatever the fuck I feel like. Sometimes I even go to work in my boxers. It doesn't matter. But, needless to say, is once you sign that contract or you sign that agreement saying that you will drive, it's a life that you must live. You learn to live out of your truck. You learn to be on the road. You learn to be away from your family. That is the hardest part about being a truck driver is knowing how to separate the feelings from depression, knowing how to deal with the downsides of sitting around and not doing anything. There's more important things in trucking, yes. My kids are more important. My wife's more important. My family is more important. Fuck. Most things are more important than my job, but I understand the necessary evil of working. You have to make money to pay your bills. You have to pay bills to keep your house. You have to keep your house to keep your kids. It's a deadly, never-ending cycle. They say money is the root of all evil, but without evil, you can't live. There's a thought to ponder. If money is the root of all evil, then why is it that we have to have money to live? If you're homeless, they take your kids from you. If you don't feed your kids, they take your kids from you. If you don't put clothes on your kids' back, they take your kids from you. So no matter which way you look at it, you have to work with the necessary evils of not making money or making money. Yes, there are a lot more important things than money, but keeping your kids and keeping your house and keeping your family together, that is more important. So we sacrifice, we work every day, all day, and we continue going until we make what we need to make. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about today. If y'all leave a comment and tell me what I should talk about next, I will. But a trucker's mistress is his truck. And that is his number one mistress. The road in this truck, Those. that's it. We're drawn to it. It's just part of our body, it's part of our soul. And you get used to it. You get used to be behind the wheel. Well, just remember, if your wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning. Y'all have a good day now.